Today is Wednesday, and I guarantee you that you will never guess. Hey, hey, look at me. Not the sign. Look at me. You know what? We're just going to move on from that one because, yes, it is Wacky Wednesday. A brand new update is going to be dropping in exactly 14 minutes. Last update for this game, we ended up getting the uh, little leprechaun guy, which he's gone. Oh, wait, that's right. I completed it. What am I talking about? Obviously, he's not going to be there. He's over there now. But yes, we got the St. Patrick's Day update where a leprechaun was introduced. We kind of had to chase him around the entire map. And with that, we got the brand new pot of gold ingredient. I do hope that we get ourselves a brand new ingredient and something that that is actually challenging to get we're gonna go ahead and uh kind of transition over 12 minutes into the future so strap in and let's get ready for this update and just like that the update is now here as you can see there is a brand new floating castle over here with uh some other guy thing standing right there servers are probably gonna restart while i'm in the middle of this but it's perfectly fine i don't want to wait we have ourselves a new ingredient here and like always i'm going to show you guys in this video how to go ahead and unlock it for yourself now we are going to go ahead and drink ourselves a flying potion because this is not connected in any type of way to the mainland and if we come up to this guy right here it is robot let's go ahead and talk to him I fell from the sky and I am in bad shape. I need your help. Can you find my arms and legs? Seems pretty simple enough. So let's go ahead and make our way inside of here and see what's going on. So I don't know if we can actually enter this area. Oh, this might be one of those. You can't actually have a potion to walk in, but that does kind of remind me of the underground. Yo, hey, there's a leg right there. So yeah, maybe we do have to find all the pieces in the mainland first in order for that door to go ahead and unlock. So First leg is going to be not too far away from him. Let's go ahead and grab that. We're going to take it back to him. He said, thank you. Please find more. Another arm is also located right next to him. So let's grab that. Talk to him one more time. Now he's got one leg and one arm. The next piece that we're going to grab is going to be his second arm. And this is located right next to the volcano event. Uh, Kind of like paused poster leaning right up against this tree right here. So this is kind of uh, I'm going to do a quick little 360 to show you guys exactly where I'm standing. Go ahead and grab his right arm and take it back to the robot. All right. So I have spent probably the last i don't even know man like 30 minutes trying to find this last leg and honestly it wasn't just me a lot of people even in the discord were completely clueless on how to find this huge shout out to cacper 11 he went ahead and told me that it was located right by this cactus i don't even know how i didn't see that i have checked every inch of this map and i just wasn't able to find it but yes standing from the actual robot itself it is standing right over there on that cactus so i'm right here in front of him i'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera around it is that cactus right there right around my mouse so here we go the final piece i can't seem to remember what you needed to do next if only i had a brain i actually know where there's a brain so let's just come to our base here grab the brain and take it on over to him hopefully this is what he is looking for thank you i remember now please take this special gem Holding it will protect you from the castle spell. Oh, oh, look, and now we have like a cloud path. Let's go ahead and make our way over here and get our hands on this brand new ingredient, man. With this special gem that we have in our hand, we can officially walk through this without completely getting taken out. Now here, you're gonna have to do kind of a quick little obby. So we're just gonna jump up here and do this pretty quick. It's uh really straightforward. So I don't really think I need to walk you guys through this. Just kind of follow the path. And there we go. We went ahead and made it to the end it says drop the crystal okay so we're gonna just uh drop item what is that gonna do oh now we can pick it up the ethereum crystal dude look at this once you've gone ahead and grabbed that teleport back to your home base here drop it inside of the cauldron and you now have the ethereum crystal unlocked dude drinking this will give you the nft morph potion no way oh my god this is the best update ever <laughs> dude i'm an nft a lot of brand new potions were also added and i'm gonna take a wild guess and say that they're probably also nfts so this is gonna be great to go ahead and unlock all of these i don't normally do this but i'm gonna test one more let's uh do a fairy what's that gonna give us girl morph if this is another nft this is gonna be a great update oh it's not another nft but anyways guys i hope that you went ahead and enjoyed this and it helps you get your hands on the brand new ethereum crystal if it did make sure to go ahead and drop a like subscribe to the channel and make sure to use code carbon when buying robux or roblox premium that's gonna do it for this one like always i will see you guys in the next video
Take care.